So I didn't think that meant supporting teachers during this COVID-19 pandemic included continuing with evaluations, making us give SLO student learning objectives to students, and for some teachers, having them prepare the students to take a state test. Because for us here in Texas, the Texas Education Agency decided that they're going to have students, regardless of technical issues and their learning environments, still take a state test. I think that's what stresses me out the most. <clears throat> so right now I'm on campus. We just finished the third week of school. We're 100% virtual right now. Um, a week after next students will return, starting with the ninth graders we're phasing in, the week after that 10th graders, and then the week after that 11th and 12th graders up until we're about 50% of the campus capacity. However, the students aren't going to rotate classes like they normally do. We have our advisory classes and those students are going to stay in their advisory class all day. And right now I only have eight tables in my room. And so those eight students are going to have breakfast here. They're gonna attend their other classes remotely. They're gonna have lunch here. And I'm also responsible for watching them, but also teaching my other classes remotely. So that's the part that I'm struggling with. I feel like I got a handle now with, you know, just me being here. Like I'm one of maybe five teachers on campus because teachers don't have to return until students start phasing in. But I'm really struggling on how it is going to be when students are here in the classroom with me and I have to teach. Because I know that I get easily distracted. That's one of the things I'm frustrated with. I'm also concerned with the fact that powers that be made a decision to continue evaluating teachers during this time. And I guess the questions that I have are, like what experience do those who made that decision and came up with the rubric, what experience do they have with teaching students remotely? What experience do they have with any of the technology within the past five for some? or even 10 years for others, because I, I worked at the district level for a bit and I was also an administrator. And I know that there are people who've been out of the classroom for a long time. And even the six year period that I was out when I came back four years ago, like it kicked my behind. Just the way the students interacted with one another and their method of learning, it was different. It had changed, I felt, in that six year period. Now fast forward four years to where we are now, I somehow have to be held to these standards on this rubric that number one, again, I don't know who created it, that says this is what an engaging distance learning lesson looks like. Have you all actually seen that? Like how many classrooms have you seen? You know, my question is like, how many, cl how many virtual classrooms have you been in to provide that? And I, it's frustrating to me because I don't know who developed the rubric. Were there teachers involved in that? Was it district level leaders? Did they use what happened in the spring to inform what's going on now? I don't know. Same thing with SLO, the student learning objective, which is where we give students a pretest at the beginning of the school year. And then we give them that exact same test in spring to see how much they learned. I feel like I'm fairly confident in the concepts that my SLO pertain to when we're face to face. But right now, like there have been so many issues with the technology. Um, a couple days ago, Google Drive was down across the country. Students couldn't get in, teachers couldn't get in. We've had trouble with the learning management system. We've had trouble with just district systems being able to sign in. Students have had trouble with Zoom getting kicked out. I've been kicked out a couple times. Maybe they have low bandwidth. They can't see what it is that I'm doing, or when they try to talk to me, their connection is weak. They're definitely trying. I know I'm trying, especially to give them a quality education despite the circumstances. But there is a difference, right? Because in my classroom, I'm able to control and facilitate the learning environment. I can't do that when they're at home. You know, I can tell jokes virtually and you know, be, be warm and positive. But I don't know what's going on directly around them that is affecting their ability to attend my class, but then also their ability to acquire new information, especially in chemistry where a lot of the material will be new to the students. 
So the fact that we still have to give an SLO, and for again, for some teachers, they have to prepare the students because here in Texas, the Texas Education Agency has decided that students in certain grade levels still have to take the state standardized tests. Here in high school, biology is the science standardized test, and I've taught biology. And during a regular year, I'm stressed out. And I know the stakes are pretty high, especially for the student population that I work with. I don't even want to imagine now what it would feel like as a teacher having to prepare students in a virtual environment. You know, when things hopefully do return to normal, there are things that I've learned that I can definitely use in the classroom. And it's at least gotten me started on or ahead of where I wanted to be in a multi-year effort planning process. But at the same time, it's been a very tiring experience mentally because you know students are sending me messages to remind, they're contacting me, um, they're not, they're falling out. And so it, it's just, so overall I would say, and I guess one of the reasons why I'm frustrated with the fact that certain things are being implemented like a regular school year is the fact that I don't think people who aren't doing what we're doing right now understand how mentally draining this is. I finish here, I go home, I sit on my couch, and I stare. I stare at something, I can't even tell you what I stare at, but I, I do know like I sit and I just stare into space. And I don't know how much time has gone by, but like I'm literally just sitting on my couch, staring. And then like after I had my few minutes of rest, then it's back to trying to prepare for the next day because this experience feels like I'm a first year teacher all over again, even though I have 12 plus years of teaching experience, I worked at the district level, and I also was a campus administrator, it still is a lot of work. I have two preps, pre-AP chemistry, anatomy and physiology, and so I need to prepare virtually for those classes. And maybe I'm frustrated because my student interactions have not been like they are in person. Like where my students joke with me, I'm telling jokes, they laugh at me, you know, there's talking. And now I'm just talking to a black screen or a screen with tiny black boxes, which is why I think it may have been better if we were still in this COVID-19 pandemic a year from now to be like, okay, we're gonna hold off teacher evaluations. We're gonna hold off SLO state testing. And we're going to try to plan or learn about like how students are learning, what teachers are doing, what's working, what's not working and then come back to the drawing board and, and you know, figure this thing out. But that's not what's happening. It's a Friday afternoon, school ended maybe like 20 minutes ago. I'm tired, mentally. Although I ended good today because my students, I created packets for them so that way I can, if technology isn't working, they have paper copies. And so I scheduled student pickups. They came and grabbed their packets and I was able to meet them. So I think after that experience, like the students, I realized today and yesterday they began opening up more and like students who never said anything in the chat or to me, like they unmuted themselves. Bye, or see you later. And so I think that was the one positive thing out of this so far. And maybe that will change when students phase in. Um, but again, I'm not gonna have all of my students. I'm only gonna have eight out of my 170 plus students that I'm responsible for. So don't work too hard, take care, get some rest because that's what I'm going to do.